Okay, here we have a uh, fan relay. It is a single pole, double throw switch, one single switch in it. Let's look a little closer. Okay, between these two terminals here, you can see a squiggly. Okay, that squiggly is the coil that energizes uh, to move the contacts back and forth. Up here, I have COM for common. And I've got NC for normally closed, NC for normally open. So when the relay is de-energized, no power going to it, power will pass from common to normally closed. When it's energized, it'll pass from common to normally open. And that's the simple uh, single pole, double throw relay. Okay, this relay here which is a very common Honeywell relay. This one actually isn't made by Honeywell, but it's a pretty close imitation. Now, this is probably the most misunderstood fan relay out there. Its diagram is a little hard to understand, but it is fairly simple. The coil is between here and here. Now this has got two terminals here, but they're just hooked together. Terminal, two terminals over here, they're just hooked together. So they, there's nothing between these. There is something between here and here. And that's the coil of the relay. If you look here, you can see the coil of the relay. Now, this becomes the harder part. There are two single pole, double throw switches in this relay. If you look at number four, right here, that's going to be here. You see these, these bosses that stick up here, and there's a boss here, and there's a boss there, and here, and here. Those are to tell you where the separations are. Like everything in this side of this boss, and this side of this boss, and this side of this boss goes with this switch here. Everything on the other side goes to this switch here, but these bosses here are telling you that this is not connected with these up here, this, because this is a coil for the relay. Okay, so number four is the pole because we've got this little wire going along here it comes to a normally closed contact which is on 5 so when this is de-energized we have continuity between here and here but we do not have continuity to number 6 to this one energized just switches this one's open this one's closed Okay, this switch here is entirely different, has no interconnection at all with this switch. And if you look at number one here, that goes to here. And we go up and over, and we got a little normally closed there. That means power, when this is de-energized, goes from here to here. It does not go from one to three here. When I energize, it just switches. Okay, that's how that relay works. It is a little tough to understand. They're used in all sorts of different configurations. Not all of them have both switches. Some of them only have one switch. Some of them will just have, uh, won't have the normally closed contacts, won't have the normally open. There's all kinds of configurations these come in, but the top of this all looks the same. If there is no tang sticking out of here, then there's no normally closed contact. That, uh, it's pretty simple that way. That's how that relay works. Good idea is to take them apart and see how they tick inside. And I will actually take a couple of these apart in another video. 
Okay, that's a single pole double throw relay.